This video is brought to you by Tall Man Toys and Comics. So I'm off to go clean Linda Walker's house. Inside of the house was pretty nasty. So I'm just cleaning, cleaning, la 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 la, just cleaning, doing my usual cleaning. And then I came across these little tokens. But where did these tokens even come from? Why, from an unknown place called Showbiz Pizza Place. Now, I never grew up in the 1980s, so I never really got to experience Showbiz Pizza Place. Though I do kind of get the gist of what it is. It's like Chuck E. Cheese, but it didn't last very long. Back in the 1980s, there was this really big thing for animatronic restaurants. And this and Chuck E. Cheese was one of the more popular ones. Though, unlike Chuck E. Cheese, Showbiz only lasted from 1980 to 1992. But why didn't it last very long? What happened to it? And how did it end up the way that it did? Well, I looked into it. And what I discovered is one of the most shocking and most depressing stories I've ever heard for a restaurant. So in order for me to tell you the tale of what happened to Showbiz, I want you all to sit down, relax, eat a nice meal or snack as I tell you the tale of what happened to one of the most creepy yet interesting fast food pizza chains of the 1980s. This is what happened to Showbiz Pizza Place. Now let's start from the very beginning. Once upon a time, there was a man named Noan Bushnell, the founder of Atari. Both Noan and Atari wanted to make a place where kids and families can have fun and play games and stuff. Because during that time in the 1970s, most of their games would usually end up being in bully alleys and bars. Which we can all agree, most parents are a little iffy about letting their kids be at. Except maybe the bowling alley, but still. So Nolan had the idea of making a place where people can play games and have a place to have some food and entertainment. Thus, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater was born. The first Chuck E. Cheese was made in 1977. And not only did it have video games and food, but also this animatronic band that would play throughout most of the day. And it was a massive success. Thus, Nolan wanted to go ahead and start a franchise with this place. Which means adding more locations and using the profits from Atari as well as leaving the company of Atari to go start the franchise. Well, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Enter Robert Brock, the owner of Holiday Inn Hotels. He signed a million dollar deal with Pizza Time Theater Incorporated, and everything was going pretty well. Until he heard about another animatronic factory that was working on animatronic bands. I think you all know where this is going. This all brings us to Aaron Fector, the engineer and creator of Showbiz Pizza. Brock signed a deal with Aaron to create a place called Showbiz Pizza Place. Though this new arrangement did not last very long, both companies were not getting along, which caused Chuck E. Cheese to start a lawsuit with Showbiz. The case settled for about a couple years, both can share their profits for the next 10 years as well as have good benefits. And throughout the 1980s, both Showbiz and Chuck E. Cheese would be one of the biggest competitors in restaurant history. But as time would go on, Showbiz was going through a lot of things. From bankruptcy, to the video game crash, to the stock market launch, it was a real mess up at the company. In the early 90s, the company decided to rebrand all the Showbiz Pizza characters and rebranded them with the Chuck E. Cheese. Though over the years, Showbiz Pizza has gained a cult following for those who grew up with the place. So, overall guys, I have pity for this place. Now, I don't know what it would have been like if Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz didn't make the deal, but even with that lawsuit and all the other crazy stuff that happened with this place, Showbiz Pizza brought in a lot of good memories to all the kids during the 1980s. Now, I may not have been one of those kids before that experienced this place, but it is fascinating just to hear about the small history of this place and what happened to it. Now, if you're one of those kids that didn't like this place growing up, I would totally understand. The design was cheesy, there wasn't in there much for parents except maybe the beer, and honestly, it just it was just a whole Chuck E. Cheese ripoff. Though if you are one of the few people that actually grew up with this place, power to you, I could see why it created a lot of people's childhoods. And that is what happened to Showbiz Pizza Place. Though let's be real here that Billy Bob's design looks a little bit creepy if you know what I mean. 